Welcome back to Everyday Iowa. Taylor Parker from Concept by Iowa Hearing is here to talk about diabetes yeah. and hearing loss. Two things that I did not know were connected. <laughs> Nor did I, yes. um, yeah, it's, you know, most people just think hearing loss is this thing that, that mm -hmm. is over here, that'll happen. Yeah. I'll do it when I get older. Yeah. And not understanding that our body is connected and everything is one. Mm -hmm. That, you know, we can't, we can't ignore one part and think it's not going to affect something else. Mm -hmm. And you think about with diabetes, um, you know, what happens is the high glucose levels will cause the vessels to, um, you know, constrict and not be able to, okay. you know, expand and contract and, and it stays, you know, it stays um, constricted and it doesn't allow proper blood flow. And for our ears, our cochlea, has 15,000 tiny little hairs inside of it mm -hmm. that send the signal to the brain. What happens then as, you know, when the elasticity doesn't happen, mm -hmm. the good proper blood flow doesn't get there so it doesn't stay healthy. And okay. then the cochlea can't send the good signals to the brain that the brain needs. That's where the link to dimension and some other things mm -hmm. come in. And think about okay. it, you know, like eyes. Eyes and our ears are right. the smallest vessels we have in our body. Mm -hmm. The you know, the issues with blood flow don't start in the largest and work backwards. They start in the smallest, smallest. And, okay. and go up. Mm -hmm. So, okay. you know, one of the things that happens is with hearing, you know, vessels, they, you know, mm -hmm. they don't contract. If you have type one or type two, you're twice as likely to have a hearing loss um, wow. because of, of type one or type two okay. diabetes. Pre-diabetes, um, you're 30% higher than those with normal glucose levels. Okay. So it's one of those things where if you've been diagnosed with one or two or even been told you have pre, mm -hmm. you should have your hearing screened okay. um, just because we know, um, you know, the importance of what happens, how they're connected. You know, hearing loss is the second largest health epidemic behind heart disease. Wow. But I didn't know that. Don't think of the, and no, it's, I and it's the that. one no, because yeah. and, and part of it is you think about when you watch you know TV and you read mm -hmm. you know everything. Right. American Medical Association, American Dental Association, mm -hmm. all the associations are out there talking about you know prevention. They're right. talking about these things. Our industry does not, and so it's mm -hmm. up to me, others like mm -hmm. me, to be on shows mm -hmm. like this to talk about what's going on, yeah. what to do, and you know you can't think of it as this you know later in life thing. Yes. Because you know diabetes yeah. happens. I mean, any right. more happens all the time. I mean, yeah. we're talking kids to young adults to, you know, mm -hmm. it's something that happens and you can't say, I've got diabetes and it's not going to affect anything else yeah. and I'm going to ignore everything else until, you know, okay. at whatever point I think I'm old enough to do it. Yeah. And type 1 and type 2 diabetes, they're different. Do they affect your hearing differently or um, how does each affect hearing loss? Um, kind of about the same, just because mm -hmm. it's, it all has to do with blood flow. Okay. So whether it's one or two, um, even pre, it's just it's how, would, how the blood flow okay. is affecting what's going on. Okay. So how often should you get your hearing checked? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> um, you know, it used to be we recommended people at age 50. Okay. Um, but with all the studies now that we're seeing and all the studies looking at younger individuals, mm -hmm. studies starting to look at age 40, 45, oh. okay. we recommend about 40 to 45 if you have some of these health, con health okay. conditions. If you have, you know, one, two, pre, mm -hmm. then you should get that checked at that time. Okay. Um, otherwise, you know, if you work around noise, noise exposure being the mm -hmm. number one cause of hearing loss. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if you work around noise, you know, Again, 40, 45. It's one of those things okay. where, you know, depending upon your environments and things like that, your okay. health, you should start 40, 45. Okay. Or, if you do, or if you notice anything, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's, like, yeah. it's one of those things you should at least yeah. get a baseline to know. And then, okay. you know, we can tell you you should wait, you know, depending upon what your, mm -hmm. your audiogram says, we would tell you to, you know, whether you wait three, five, okay. two. You know, it's one of those things that, that we can, once we start, yeah. we can kind of guide you through the journey. And okay. how do people make an appointment with Concept? It's really easy. You just go to iowahearing.com. Oh, you okay. Can make it right on, you can make it right easy. on our website. Um, yeah. And then it has our phone number on there as well with all our 15 locations throughout okay. the state. But iowahearing.com, you can just book it right online, make your appointment, and you don't even have to talk to anyone. Wow. It's very easy. Okay. Yeah. That is easy. It's easy. Okay. And get your hearing. I mean, even if you think it's a stigma and I'm too young, or you're too young, yeah. you're never really too young well, to not. actually get a check. No, because okay. we know of of all the things with dementia right. and all these other you know factors that are going on yeah. that you know it's one of those things you should at least start understand it you don't okay. I mean you should do something <laughs> if you if you're you know diagnosed with a hearing loss but mm -hmm. it's one of those things at least know yes. okay. know what the options are know what the impacts are mm -hmm. and you know just be educated on it mm -hmm. okay all right yeah, that's true and that's we we're talking true. about how hearing aids are so different now <laughs> than they were and, yeah they are and so. I didn't know they are they're Bluetooth Everything is, mm -hmm. you know, they're 100% Bluetooth. Whether you use it or not, it's just built in. Okay. So let's say you had your iPad. You could stream anything that's, that's streaming from mm -hmm. your iPad will go directly into your hearing devices, phone calls, movies, 
music. Okay. I mean, basically, they're your AirPods, your Beats, whatever you don't want it to be. It's just yeah. now it's compensating for your hearing loss, okay. and you don't have to wear multiple devices. Okay. So think of it that way. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's, I mean, instead that's really a, what it is. Instead of a stigma, think of it that way. It it's is. a convenience. Yeah. It okay. is. Thank right. you for joining us. Thanks yes. for having me. Yeah. All right.